Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of Total War Arena. So, just going to be having a bit of a casual video today. Um, I know we've slipped a little bit on the schedule um, the past couple of days, I've been away. But I'm back now so we should be back to daily videos. Um, and I just wanted to very briefly talk about the patch 3.11, um, sort of almost a micro patch which is coming out uh, on the 26th, which is tomorrow. So that's when this video will come out, so the patch will actually probably be out before this video, just um so yes yeah, so what's changing um so following the 3.1 patch which they released sort of around about two weeks ago now i think um quite a lot of stuff was changed and there was quite a lot of sort of unintended consequences of those changes which i don't think they expected to happen and sort of that's what we're adjusting um the main balancing focus of this change is to do with archers so in patch 3.1 which was a couple of weeks ago they basically increased the accuracy of archers in an attempt to reduce friendly fire. Um, which is fine, good in principle, because obviously uh, ranged units, particularly archers, do cause a lot of friendly fire, which players don't always mean to, particularly when they're shooting into existing engagements. And that and that accuracy change they're claiming has reduced friendly fire, which I can believe that's all, all good and I'm all for that. Um, but the, obviously the unintended consequence of that is that archers have effectively become more powerful, because they can focus units a lot more, um, particularly lighter armoured units like the Barbarians. I'm quite a fan of the Phalaxmen at the moment, Phalaxmen, and they've been quite badly affected because it makes sense now for archers to fire into fights um, because they, you know, the, the, the accuracy enables them to target um, low armoured units like archers very effectively. Got a fly on the screen. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's one of the uh, sort of unintended changes. Uh, but to counter that, they're going to make some changes so they stop this so barbarians aren't quite so adversely affected. Um, they're basically going to reduce the amount of damage uh, of archers by sort of around 10%. Let me just get these guys engaged here. And you come around. Um, so, yeah, so they've done that, which is obviously a good thing. Try and get those guys to rout. So I'm trying to re uh, level up Sulla a little bit. So yeah, but the um, yeah, so they've done that. But the worry is because they've reduced the amount of damage, they're worried that um, archers will no longer really be able to affect or damage heavy infantry units quite the same, which is fair enough. You know, particularly some of the armored units like these Romans, are quite resistant to arrows, and um, you know, if reduce the damage of archers frontally, archers might become really ineffective against them because they're also going to increase the missile block chance of such units. And get everyone whipping and stabbing. Um, so yeah, so that's one of their worries that they had, which is an understandable worry. Um, so they've basically increased the armour penetration of such units. I'll get a few of those Hastati if we can. Um, yeah, so that's basically the main changes to his archers. They've increased the armour penetration, but um, at the same time have reduced um, the amount of damage that they actually do. So they should still be able to damage some of the more heavily armoured units, particularly from the rear, um, where they should be able to do quite a lot of damage. But um, they're now not going to be quite so effective against units like Barbarians as they were because they just obviously became a bit overpowered. So yes, I think that's a good thing, good balance all in all. Quite pleased with that. That's one of the main changes that is occurring. Um, what else are they doing? Let me quickly flick to my patch notes while that battle's ongoing. I can't remember. Oh yes, Caltrops. So yes, yeah, so they changed Caltrops. So previously, um, if you watched my video on how to use Caltrops, you had to actually... When you selected a Caltrop to deploy, you selected it and then clicked sort of in a small deployment radius where you wanted that Caltrop to be deployed. Um, but that has now changed. So in patch 3.1, they made it so you just press the button and the unit deployed the Caltrop um, just directly beneath itself with a very small cooldown timer, which meant that the unit didn't really even have to stop. Which, um, while sort of seems fine, it made them quite a lot more powerful because it enabled them to be very quick to deploy on the go. And while they reduced the, the, the movement speed, a modifier on Caltrops slightly to make them less effective. It still meant that they could stop cavalry charges you know, right in the tracks and that sort of thing. Um, and it was just all a little bit too much. So they've changed that basically now so that they've increased the wind-up time for these Caltrops to be a little bit more, which is obviously um, quite a good thing. And now units can't completely deploy them on the move. They now require a little bit of... Um, they have to stop to actually deploy them, so the units will be running along, the, the javelins will stop, deploy the caltop, then they can move again. Uh, I'm unsure exactly how long that stopped phase is going to be, although we'll find out once the patch comes out. Um, but there's obviously going to be something like that. 
which is probably not a bad thing um, because cow tops can be pretty powerful. So, yes, they're the main two things that are changing. It's only a small patch. Nothing massive is going on. Um, let's get these guys here. So, yeah, that's basically that. Let's get these guys in here. Um, yes, other than that, um, I'm just trying to get Solo leveled up a little bit. Let's get those guys engaged. And then try and get a flank in. Ooh, big artillery shot. I know this guy's AFK, so this is... Fairly poor form on my part, but um, we're trying to get Sulla leveled up, so we do what we can. Um, although we're going to end up losing, aren't we? They've just charged onto a massive amount of spikes. Interesting. Um, so, yes, so a small amount of changes. Um, the, they did say uh, Sancha, Sansa, Sasha, Sasha from Wargaming did put out um, a post on the Discord, I believe, that said basically they're going to be moving to making patches a lot more regular, sort of one every two weeks is what they want to try and achieve. Um, sort of with the intention of putting out sort of regular small patches, particularly balance changes, you know, like we're seeing with the archers and the caltrops, which is obviously a good thing. Um, so we should start to see quicker changes based on community feedback, which I think is something that we, you know, will be good for everyone. So let's see if we can get up this hill and get stuck into these Hastati. Um, a little damaged, but not terribly, and we are quite damaged as well. And we're being capped out. What have we got going back? Well, I'm miles away. Not going to make any difference to me. Let's see if I can catch this unit of Hastati in the open. That would be nice. If we can surround this one and force him into a fight, that would be preferable. Let's use that to get my little bit of movement speed. Get in range. Um, let's all throw some javelins at him. Oops, leading forwards. Okay, so we did get heavy infantry charge. That's one of the main things Sulla is lacking, is uh, any form of heavy infantry charge. Okay, let's get engaged. We're going to use um, whip. And we've got into route. That is what we want. Let's push push this unit into him so we can't escape. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. We don't want him to reform, is exactly what we don't want him to do. We are now being attacked by these spearmen, so let's pull these units out. And reform. Um, let's get that unit into the fight. I'll drag these units two around. Yes, yeah, so if anyone has any questions about the patch that they think I might be able to answer that you're not going to be able to gather from the patch notes, then do let me know. But um, I'll post the patch notes up so you can all see it. Um, it's obviously available also on the Total War forum. As I say, not a massive patch, but kind of interesting all the same. And let's stab. The new animations are pretty nice. They're very effective sometimes. Um, oh, I've got another unit of hoplites turning up. We can't kill everyone quick enough. And those Romans are back. Okay, let's start to pull out what we can while leaving one unit in place. Oh, we got. Okay, let's just get out of here, I think. Um, how's that everyone morale doing? Yep, okay. Got to be a bit careful with these guys. It's very easy to whip yourself into route with Sulu, I found. Because um, obviously whip causes you massive amounts of morale damage. Got quite a lot of aggression damage in, but I don't think it's going to be enough to win this battle. Right, let's pull back and reform. What have we got in front of us? Anything that we can target that's sort of small enough? Yes. Let's have a go then. With this unit. Let's whip them and stab them to try and get the knock back. Let's try and flank with these guys while these guys are distracted. But we've got javelin men turning up. That's not going to go very well for us. And we are struggling on morale. Oh, they've turned on us. Playing, playing the part quite well. They're turning. Um, oh, and now we're being javelined. <laughs> I think this is the end of our game. Um, we'll whip these guys, but that's it. Use our, our new uh, strikes. But unfortunately, I think this is the end of the game for us. Um, so yes, good patch change overall, but um, nice to see that they're listening to some of the community feedback, particularly around like, the balance changes. Um, but we'll just have to see how this pans out. Obviously, a good thing to change about archers, I think. They were particularly effective against the Barbarians, which was sort of one of the main changes raised around them. Um, shame to see nothing perhaps about war dogs yet. I was hoping to see some changes around how strikes affect war dogs. Maybe that's something we'll see in a future patch. Um, but yeah, all in all a good thing. Realise this has turned into very much a rambling episode. Um, but we had to see to the end of the battle, didn't we? 
Um, it looks like our team has about lost. What have we got left on this? Uh, one unit of Romans. Some Theban Hoplites. So yes, we're going to be having lots more uh, Total War Arena videos. Obviously as well, it's not too long now to Thrones of Britannia comes out. So we'll certainly be having a little bit of a look at that when that comes out. Because, well, I want to play it. And if I'm, <laughs> if I'm playing it, I might as well make a video about it. So yeah, we'll be having a few sort of episodes of that as well. We'll perhaps start a series in that. Um... I think that comes out early May, so I'll need to need to check that out. I think it's like eight days, something like that, someone said in the comments from today. And it's Wednesday today, so hopefully it shouldn't be too long before we start to get some content from that. Um, and yes, we'll have lots more arena content coming. I think we're going to be having a Phalaxman video probably uh, Friday. So this is Thursday, hopefully this video is coming out along with the patch. Um, and then Friday we should have a Phalaxman video. Um, also, on a sort of separate note, for sort of any of my more long-term watchers, I was thinking about maybe trying to get a bit more of a sort of established streaming schedule. Um, I know I'm sort of a very sporadic streamer, particularly when sort of trying to do a video a day takes up most of my time, and I'm often sometimes away with work for a day or two, which kind of means YouTube works better because I can have a few videos in reserve, and which I can then pull out when I'm not here. So, um, yeah, so streaming's always been a bit harder, but I've actually had quite a few people say, you know, oh, can we uh, party up and play together? Which is something I'd like to do with a lot more of you guys, because it's, it's kind of hard to do, particularly when I'm trying to create videos, because sometimes I just need to you know, sit down, play a game, and talk about patch notes like this. So, yeah, I was thinking about maybe trying to have a bit of a stream schedule, and then maybe party up with some people when on the stream. So if we can get, you know, ten of you to come over, and a few of you want to play with me on the stream, then that seemed like kind of a good way of doing it, and then... I can grind a few units, you guys might get a bit of a chance to play with me, um, we can have some battles together, and we can sort of all be on the screen. Which sort of seems to kill many birds with one stone, so yeah, if that's something that you could be interested in, let me know, um, and we'll start looking at maybe getting a bit of a more streaming schedule established, probably at the weekends, probably, um, when I have the most chance of being able to sort of fulfil it. Um, yes, and this looks like this last unit is just dying. Come on, just die. I don't know why these guys, I don't either use a focused fire, which they could do just to kill these guys, or why they don't just leave one unit engaged and pull the other two units back to throw at them. There we go. I use a focused fire. Is that them all? Nope, still two left. Oh, God. Just die. There we go. We're going to rout. There we go. And there is the end of the battle. We were slaughtered, unfortunately. Um, eventually, once I get these guys a little bit further up, we shall be having a Sulla video. I quite enjoy Sulla. I like his whip abilities, particularly for the speed. Um, I've been using him mostly as a javelin commander. That's why he's tier 5 over um, you know, my units normally. I say he's quite easy to get good aggression damage. The whip enables gives him quite a good increase to melee attack, which is quite nice. That 50% melee attack, that's like a vengeance boost. And you can activate it um, every 16 seconds, and it's got an 8 second duration. And you get the penetration damage as well. So, but anyway, that's for another video. We're going off topic again. So thanks for watching, guys. Sorry it's been a bit of a rambling video. But um, we'll get back on more on track with more sort of regular content after the sort of break for a couple of days. But thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more Total War Arena content. And I shall see you all on the next episode.